Welcome back to my channel, Survive and Thrive. Today, I wanted to focus in on a company that I've been talking about in my last video. It was about two and a half weeks ago. I believe it was end of September. And that company is NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. This article today from CNBC, Tesla, NVIDIA, and Microsoft are way ahead of themselves, trader warns. Three hot stocks have gone too far too fast, according to Miller Tabex, Matt Maley. The firm's chief market strategist told CNBC's Trading Nation on Friday that the stock charts of Tesla, NVIDIA, and Microsoft are overextended on a relative strength basis. The stocks of great companies sometimes get way ahead of themselves. It doesn't mean they're not great companies. It doesn't mean that they won't be great stocks over their intermediate and long term, he said. You want to own these stocks, but don't be chasing them up here. Now, I've talked about this a lot with his stock investing. Like he is saying, even with those strong companies that you really believe in, don't chase them as they continue to drive up higher and higher and higher, especially when it's based off of not a whole lot of catalyst and it's a lot of speculation. Meili zeroed in on NVIDIA, saying the stock is significantly overbought and overpriced relative to the broader market based on the indicators he tracks. And you can see it here on the 200-day moving average with this chart. And they have absolutely went parabolic even in the last two and a half weeks. And I'll show that more here later in the video. And as Meili says, he thinks they'll come back down and you can get them all at lower prices in the coming weeks, which I truly believe. And so I am sitting with... A significant portion of cash on the sidelines right now waiting for this correction to happen and just as soon as it does make that downtrend I will be buying in big lower prices are likely on the horizon for Tesla Nvidia and Microsoft said New Street Advisors Group founder and CEO Delano Sapuro who owns shares of all three names and I do too personally have a good holdings in Nvidia and continuing to build out more because in the future they will be one of those top leading companies in the metaverse and future for AI, autonomous cars. And I'll show here at the end of this video something very exciting that they're developing called the Omniverse. This next article, NVIDIA CEO expects global chip shortage to last into next year. So there's a couple of these downward catalyst or potential negative impacts to the stock valuation that I see that could be coming. Jensen Huang thinks demand is going to far exceed supply amidst ongoing GPU production constraints. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang expects the current global chip shortage to impact the company's production line into the next couple of years. Speaking to Yahoo, Huang said that he expects demand to far exceed supply through 2022, particularly for the demand of graphics cards. And that's a very big part of their business. Now they are doing something very interesting with being able to utilize their graphics cards due to the chip shortage. And it's a subscription service, which allows you to get that high end gaming that so many are in demand for. So that I think will continue to help them bolster some of the revenue as this chip shortage continues to impact these chip companies. As Huang says, they released their latest line of 30 series cards in October of last year and have experienced shortages since then, and they don't have any magic bullets in navigating the supply chain issues. They have the support of many of their suppliers, and they're fortunate that they're multi-sourced and the supply chain is diverse and company is quite large so that they have a support of a large ecosystem around them. You can see here from some other manufacturing firms, the company's expectation also line up with the predictions of several other manufacturing firms. A director at Toshiba recently stated that the supply chain will remain tight until September 2022 at the very least. Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger also told Yahoo last month that the company expects shortages to last into 2023. So over time, this will continue to negatively impact those chip companies, and specifically the one I'm talking about today, NVIDIA. And so I think that some of this will continue to make the share valuation 
volatile until the chip shortage gets figured out. The chip shortage is also still impacting console production, Xbox boss Phil Spencer said that the company is working hard to bring them to market, but it's going to be a challenge that they'll have to work through for quite a while. Sony has lowered its production target for the fiscal year by around 1 million PS5 consoles to reflect ongoing manufacturing constraints. Nintendo is also not exempt from shortages. The Japanese firm has also stated that the semiconductor situation is having some effect on hardware development, and as such, it has also scaled back its full-year production estimates. So as an industry as a whole, there will continue to be negative impacts due to the chip shortage. And I see that impacting the share valuation across the board. And so that's why I'm waiting patiently to see where Nvidia downtrends to, because I do think that there is a correction coming. In MarketWatch, can Nvidia show anything in earnings to boost stock after massive move higher? Some analysts think price of Nvidia stock has moved too high despite continuing strong growth. And I am in agreement with that. I think it's gone up too much, too quick, but stealing more market share for server chips could make a difference. Nvidia is expected to show strong quarterly growth yet again, but the hardware powerhouse's stock may already have big results baked in. Nvidia is scheduled to report third quarter results after the closing bell this coming Wednesday after a massive run higher for its stock. Shares have gained more than 30% in the past three months and have already more than doubled this year, pushing the chip maker's market capitalization past 700 billion for the first time ever. Now that is very great news if you're an investor and you're wanting to take the short-term gains now, but if you're trying to buy in at this all-time high, I think you really may get penalized. Now, if you continue to just want to build with this company, keep the dollar cost averaging going on your frequency, but if you have the opportunity to have some cash on the side, Hang on here for a little bit, and I'm fairly certain that there will be enough of a correction that you'll feel a lot happier with your buy-in entry point and or building up your position. Hope Seth, the company can be a major player in a metaverse future, continued gains in data center chips and the never-ending never popularity of video games have combined to boost Nvidia that high but some analysts are now concerned that shares will struggle to move higher, even with more strong numbers in the coming report. Wedbush analyst Matt Bryson recently downgraded Nvidia's stock to neutral from outperform, while admitting that it was just because the valuation has moved so high. Bryson even increased his price target to 300 from 220, but that still only catches up to the shares' recent move higher to date. While typically we would want to tie a Rating change to some sort of negative catalyst? Frankly, there is none, Bryson said, noting that the period between data center orders and deliveries are getting longer, indicating increased demand. Bryson said that while he is less clear on what the metaverse might actually entail, he said the Facebook parent meta platforms building up its data centers and Unity software with their recent announcement to buy Weta Digital suggests that companies believe the concept technology is approaching and it appears likely graphics and AI will play a major role in its development. The one area that could make a difference for NVIDIA is data center. Among chip makers, the biggest battlefield right now is who supplies hyperscale data centers, those massive buildings full of servers that serve as the backbone for the cloud and the internet. So I will be interested to see later this week how the earnings report comes out. I think like this article is stating, they will come out with Strong's earning report but I don't think that it will move the needle that much for their stock price. And I think in the coming weeks to months, we will see a downward trend with the overall share valuation. It doesn't mean you want to sleep on this company because in the long-term investment strategy, this is one that you're going to want to buy into and hold on to for years to come. Just taking a look at this aspect, like I touched on, develop with NVIDIA Omniverse. The Omniverse is a scalable multi-GPU real-time reference development platform for 3D simulation and design collaboration and based on Pixar's universal scene description and NVIDIA RTX technology. So what they've done is they've created this platform with this toolkit or tool set for people to jump in 
and be able to develop quality tools faster than ever, build more advanced technology with minimal effort, connect to new markets, and expand their audiences. This will be a key component to developing the metaverse, the 3D digital built world, where social and gaming interactions will happen, potentially being able to virtually travel or be able to create your own avatar and use that within interactions with business meetings, potentially school, work, and a lot of other use cases. So as you can see, the platform components consist of five key parts, Nucleus, Connect, Kit, Simulation, and RTX Renderer. Now I won't get into all the details about what these represent, but as you can see, they've gone to great length to develop a platform that content creators can come in and be able to develop and build on the Omniverse. And this is really gonna help speed up the technology and development of what happens with the metaverse. And NVIDIA guaranteed will be a very big player in all of this. So that's why you don't want to turn your back on this company. I'm just an average guy doing my part to spread the word. Definitely go out, read about this company, find out everything you can, do as much research as you need to to feel comfortable before you make any investments, and especially with NVIDIA if this is one you're looking into. But it's one for me personally that I feel very comfortable with, and I see them as a strong, hyper-growth company that's gonna make me a lot of gains based off of where I position myself today. If you've liked the content that has been covered here today, definitely make sure you hit that like button, smash that for me. That helps to get this content out to other viewers and really help to spread this free education. And I'm trying to build my community. I'm up to almost 100 subscribers now. And I want to continue to build that next milestone to 250 to 500, 750 to 1000. I want it to happen fairly quickly. I was hoping within a year. I'm almost up to that timeline now, so I definitely don't see that happening. But I think that after I get past 100 to 200 subscribers, I should grow more quickly. But I can only do that with each and every one of your help. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and turn on that bell. I will put a suggestion link up here in the upper right hand corner of the NVIDIA video I covered previously. And I wanna finish here real quickly just with the price changes that have happened here in the last month. And so you can see up 35.11%. And I think as the timing of my last video that I had done on this, it said it was September 28th. Uh, we're not gonna quite see it on this. Now there was a few changes here, but I was around like 220 when I did the last video and they're already up to $300 per share. So such a massive increase in a short period of time does raise a level of concern in the short term. But I think for the long term, look for these corrections when we might dip down, whether it's 15 to 20% or maybe even a little bit more. And that's your opportunity to jump in here and get in and maximize your investment not only for today, but for the future. So that's all I had that I wanted to cover today. As always, make it a great week and don't just survive, thrive.